What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. The scoop of today's video, we're gonna be powder coating a set of WRX wheels. If you guys have been following along, you know that I picked up some WRX wheels. One second, let me grab the keys. I picked up some WRX wheels for Bobby's Legacy, that silver, that silver Legacy up there. She originally had these wheels on there, but I needed them back, so. She doesn't know this though. She doesn't know I'm powder coating them. She wants them black. She was gonna paint them, or she wanted me to paint them, but that is ghetto. I do not paint wheels. It'll be a little surprise for Bobby, so if you're watching this, you're welcome. I'm gonna be spraying them out black. I think they should be gold, but she wants them black. Let's get to work. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull off anything on the wheel. That includes these valve stems here, center caps, any wheel weights, any wheel weights like that right there, or if there's any on the backside at all. Next up, I'm gonna be cleaning the shit out of these wheels. So I'm gonna use water, a hard bristle brush, and some degreaser. Links for these will be in the description box below. I'll also be using this little brush here to get in all the little crevices, like in between the spokes, where the lug nuts go, where the valve stem goes. Now from here, we're gonna take a roll lock disc and just smooth out any imperfections in the wheel. I'm not trying to make these perfect. They're just winter wheels. I'm not gonna sandblast them or anything. Now if they were wheels like I did like I did over here, the Ray's Graham Lights 57 FXX for the Evo, those had so much prep work got into them. Fully sandblasted, I made those things perfect. These ones over here, guys, they're winter wheels. They're, it's not worth my time to make these things perfect. So I'm doing a quickie job on them. I need these things done within three hours. So I'm busting these out fast. <laughs> Honestly guys, the two wheels are pretty pretty damn good condition, so it didn't need much. But I'm gonna go ahead, clean it up one more time, and then we can get this one in the oven. It's going in the oven. This is the preheat process. So what it's gonna do is gonna bake any impurities out of the wheel, also get all the water off of it. And not only does it do that, it also allows the powder to stick that much better. So we're gonna put that in for 10 minutes. Gonna go ahead and set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes. While that wheel is in the oven preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the powder coating stuff set up. So we have a gun right here. By the way guys, I'm gonna have all of this down linked in the description box below if you wanna go buy your own powder coating gun, your own cleaning tools or brushes, degreaser, all that's gonna be down in the description box below. So that's the gun for color. See I have high gloss black. I don't really want high gloss, but I have semi-gloss. Semi-gloss black here. I don't know if there's enough of it. Yeah, there should be plenty of the semi-gloss black, so I'm gonna be spraying these out. Semi-gloss black, it's gonna look amazing. High gloss is a little, little too glossy. It's like, that's what the Evo wheels are actually. Those things are high gloss black. They look amazing on a wheel like that, but a winter wheel like this, going on the legacy, I think semi-gloss is the ticket. So I'm just gonna be taking the powder out of this big hamper and putting it into the little one. This one screws onto the gun, this one obviously wouldn't fit the gun. I don't wanna fill it up too much though. I'm gonna go about halfway. That'll work there. This wheel's been in for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and coat it. Time to make her black. This is the fun part. I love powder coating wheels. Like I mentioned in the last video, I start the hard areas first.
Now we're also gonna have to do something about these center caps. As you can see, they are silver. So I'm gonna go run them through the sand blaster real quick and then just rattle can and black. I cannot powder coat them because the plastic would melt in the oven. Like a lot of people think powder coating is kind of a difficult process you want to know the truth it's way easier than painting at least in my opinion painting you have to worry about like runs and drips and all that BS powder coating you literally spray it on try to get somewhat of an even coat throw it in the oven and you're done you don't have to worry about any drips I've never had anything weird like that happen actually I take that back a long time ago I was powder coating wheels for my silver bug guy I was doing them green there a set XXR 527s and I got them all done and then it was like a few months later I hit a curb, destroyed one of the wheels, so I had to order a new one. And when I was trying to respray it green to match the other three, it would not flow out. It would not flow out. No matter what I did, I contacted the company I ordered my powder th powder through and I couldn't get it to flow out. It was like super rough finish. It was the weirdest thing in the world. So I ended up just stripping all that and, and doing black on all of them. But that is the only issue I've ever had. So. Other than that, I love powder coating. So like I said earlier guys, if they were an expensive set of wheels or if it was like a paying customer or something, I would take a hell of a lot more time prepping these. I usually use that sand blaster over there to blast all the old, oh my lord, it is so dusty in here, powdery. Let me go over here. I would use a sand blaster, sand blast all of the old paint off, get a perfect finish. If there's any defects, I'll have them filled and literally make the wheels like brand new. But since these are just cheap winter wheels, I'm not too worried about it. This powder is gonna stick on perfectly fine with the old paint on there still. It is in good shape. And that is why I just did a quickie job on these. Anyways guys, I will see you tomorrow when we go pick up these tires. Actually, no. We have to get these tires mounted on these wheels, the tires I picked up earlier today. The, the 16 inch winter tires, and then we'll be throwing them on Bobby's car. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Now the next morning and we are gonna bring these wheels in to get these tires mounted, so let's go.
doesn't look quite as good as it did with the FRS wheels on it, but I needed those things back. So I, I think these will do good for the car and they're 16 inch. So they have quite a bit more sidewall on the wheel. So she doesn't bend one like I did on the, BR, the BRZ wheels. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, smash that subscribe button right up in that corner. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.